actually like Chinese people do. I was in China working there, and I can tell you, a Chinese will never say no. They'll say yes, I can do it. And then they will speak to all these other guys they know that they will be making the bees for them, and then they will gather all these bees and, and pass it to someone else. So really, the traceability about what the bees have done is difficult. And we were importing bees even when there was uh, uh, some disease around here. Uh, the Italian government did, uh, looked into that disease and established a quarantine process and did seem to manage it. But um, we, just, we just kind of, even when that was going on, and that was just like barely coming out of it, we, we still import from here thinking that's safe. Well, let me tell you, go and find, a, you know, a, a beetle a, among 20,000 bees, that could escape you, certainly. Um, so, it seems to me that we are in such a desperation that we are um, cutting it very thin, taking very high risks um, that actually could endanger the whole of the British uh, bee population. And just for reference, in 1992 in Ireland, they forbid the import of bees. And there was some people thinking, we are going to die, we are, well, because they think that the bees will keep on dying and that that would be the end of the world. Yeah. Actually, Ireland... Uh